Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirch with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I wanted to touch on really quick the Spreadsheet Sync feature in QuickBooks Online Advanced. And yes, you heard me correct. This is only usable in the advanced subscription level. Even if you are a QuickBooks Online Accountant user, which is one of the major drawbacks of this. And I found this out when I was testing it out recently. I was asked to be a tester about this. Now I am in the Garcia consulting file, so I am not going to connect this through this file since this is not my file to do that with, but I'm gonna go through the steps to show you how to find it. You go to the gear icon here and click on it and under tools is where you'll see spreadsheet sync. So you would go ahead and click on that and then it gives you the menu on what to do to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this link and it should go ahead and allow you to open up Excel, which I'm going to go ahead and do here. And then what happens is when you go over here, and I'd already linked it with another file that I have, but let me show you what, what happens when you actually go ahead and try to, once you've linked it, what you can do. You can actually sign in. With your information. Because you want to link your ID to it and then what it's going to do is once you go ahead and do the you, you search for a company or a file and you can do either one and for instance say like if I wanted to go in here uh, through my company or firm and and and, in, and also search for a client on here and do Kathy's bookkeeping test file which is the one that I wanted to test and I click on next, see what happens. It says Excel connection cannot be established since this is not a QBO advanced companies only. So that's one of the main problems that I have with it is that I have several firms that are not QBO advanced subscriptions and I can use it for those files, even for files I'm doing cleanup on that are not QBO advanced. That should not be the case. So I'm providing my feedback to Intuit on this because they need to make sure that at, at least the firm level, you can use this with any subscription level. So anyway, that's all I have for y'all today. Hopefully this helps y'all out. And if you do decide to try this out with any advanced companies that you have, go ahead and do that. But please submit your feedback and let them know that we need as accountant users, the ability to use this across any QuickBooks level subscription. Anyway, take care and have a wonderful day. Hope to see you again really, really soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45 minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.